I'm Dr. Ronnie Garcia, general cardiologist. I work out here in Seguin, Texas with a specialty of general cardiology and a focus in preventative cardiology. I was educated in San Antonio. I attended Our Lady of the Lake University. From there, medical school was at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio. I did my residency uh, in Virginia with the United States Navy, followed by a cardiology fellowship in Washington, D.C. at Bethesda National Medical Center. Uh, as a general cardiologist uh, specializing in diagnostic care, frequently uh, well, we have to perform such procedures as exercise stress tests, echocardiograms, carotid ultrasounds, as well as checking on the vascular system, which includes uh, uh, aortic uh, ultrasounds looking for uh, aneurysms. We also frequently deal with peripheral vascular disease uh, with diagnostics, uh, including uh, peripheral ultrasounds of the legs. These tests are all performed locally here in Seguin in our office. Some of the conditions that we take care of are atrial fibrillation, hypertension, coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure, just to name a few. Clinical interest uh, would include preventative medicine. Uh, we clearly believe that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Uh, we strive to achieve uh, a balanced uh, uh, treatment between um, holistic uh, natural treatment uh, as well as uh, pharmaceuticals when needed. Uh, relying on the patient uh, to be a partner with us in this treatment and decision. Over the last 14 years, the area has grown significantly uh, with uh, the population increasing. The hospital itself has grown along with the population uh, and is a fantastic resource for everyone in Guadalupe County. Uh, the hospital uh, has grown uh, to the point where most cardiovascular care can be performed here in Seguin. Uh, we can do nuclear stress tests. We're able to place pacemakers, uh, cardiac catheterizations with stent placement. All that can be done here locally. There's been just a substantial uh, improvement in the hospital over the last 14 years.